I used a tiling window manager for a week. Here's how it went. Also, join the Penguin by Discord community to be notified of announcements and uploads, ask questions, participate in polls and decisions, and chat with me and the community about Linux, tech, and other topics. Link in the description below. The distro I used for a week was Fedora Sway. Sway because it's basically like i3, an easy to use tiling window manager that is a great entry point for many people, but also uses Wayland, which I prefer to use over Xorg, and Fedora because it's hands down the best distro in my personal opinion, and has done the best for me. For a while, I avoided window managers because I thought they were too difficult to uh, cover and to use, but eventually I just jumped into it because people kept on asking me. You could say I was swayed to finally try one, so I did. If you want to see how the installation of Fedora Sway went, or you want to see a more detailed explanation of what a window manager is, then check out the original video which will be linked in the top right corner and description. But to summarize it, a window manager is a minimal environment that lets you run graphical apps and manage windows. A tiling window manager manages windows in a way that makes use of all available screen real estate by default, tiling windows usually on the sides in different layouts and ways that you can modify and change. Overall, my experience with window managers has not been too bad. At first, it was too minimalist and bare bones for me to easily understand. For example, you don't have a settings app, you have to do things through a configuration file. A Discord member called Polyskull dedicated three hours of his time to helping me configure the configuration file and set everything up, so thanks to him. But after that, everything was actually pretty nice. Sway was pretty ugly by default on Fedora. They could definitely use some better customization there, but I found a, a rice that I really liked so I implemented that it looked way nicer my desktop actually looks pretty beautiful now I'd say and also regarding the experience itself keyboard shortcuts aren't really my thing at least not just navigating through the whole desktop like that it's just not really what I'm into but I got used to them, they're actually kind of fun, right? Just a few, as long as you don't overdo it. Overall, it's pretty neat, although I still prefer the mouse, which you can of course use, it's just the overall workflow is more keyboard shortcut based. Regarding like apps, so I normally use things just like Firefox, you know, Caden Live to edit, although I don't really use it as much yet, I'm still just kind of learning with it. Discord, of course, I'm always on Discord. Just things like that. I don't really do too much with my computer. I'd say coding too, but I don't really do too much of that yet. I haven't done any of that this week, so I, that doesn't really apply here. But yeah, so just leisure, uh, editing, scripting, kind of just stuff like that. Also doing work, of course, in the browser. And of course, the browser works completely fine, right? The uh, one that was pre-installed in Fedora, of course, doesn't support codecs, but the Flatpak does, so I just installed the Flatpak. What else? I mean, I listened to music, so I, I installed Ambrol. I didn't like the XFCE apps that was pre-installed, so I replaced them with Lebed Waita apps, which in my personal opinion are much better. You know, you have Nautilus, which can actually unzip files. Thunar can't do that, and Thunar has some weird bugs that Nautilus doesn't. I just prefer Lebed Y to apps, and they look pretty good in window managers. Other than that, I haven't really been doing too much, but I multitask a lot all the time. I always use more than two apps at the same time, and the workflow is actually pretty good for that. Gnomes is more efficient and faster for me, but window managers are significantly better than the traditional workflow for like efficiency and stuff like that. So I really do like window managers. I'll definitely revisit them at some point in time, but at the moment, I don't really know. I just kind of prefer desktop environments still. I'm more of a GNOME person myself. Also, the text-based workflow is pretty interesting because while I can install a software center uh, on uh, the window manager, it's just interesting to, instead of having a graphical settings app, which I usually use, I do it through the terminal with NeoFetch or the configuration file. Then for installing software, instead of using the software center, I use commands, right, of course. I've done a lot more things through the terminal. It's actually gotten me to prefer it, kind of. I really like the terminal a lot, and I've gotten to use it significantly more with Sway. I also I also mapped like a few keyboard shortcuts like mod plus P to uh, take a screenshot for example. And I also uh, did some configuration things with like the time and other stuff, which again, Polyskull helped me with. That went pretty well, although the time acts weirdly. We weren't really able to fix that fully. But other than that, yeah, the text-based workflow has been interesting and it's been pretty neat. I kind of like it actually. Also, uh, two things. Firstly, with shift mod spacebar, you can actually make a window float, which is really cool. I like that. So you could just toggle between tiling or floating like this. If you were to launch, for example, Firefox, 
and you wanted a Discord and oops. Here, if you wanted, um, okay, this is an interesting bug. So if I, if I just close both of these, sorry. If I want Discord and Firefox to be tiling, but for example, I want to launch Amberall and I don't want it to be tiled, I can just shift mod spacebar and yeah, so that's pretty neat. Also, closing windows, unless it's like a libid y to app where you could just close or Firefox, which has an X button, it's a bit weird. You have to do like control Q. Sometimes it's not control Q and to force quit, you can do shift control Q. And for example, Firefox, if you don't want to quit all windows, it's like control w, w to close the tab or something. It could just be a bit confusing in tiling window managers when there's no like close button, which there usually isn't. But you could do shift mod Q to force quit the app. I must note that Sway is really stable, really awesome, and really fast as well, really smooth. And I've barely had any bugs. Usually I have a few bugs, but I didn't really have any here. The keyboard layout would change when you like press a key. It's the right control key by default between Australian English, which why is that Australian? Why isn't that like American English, which I set in the installer and Russian of all languages. Other than that, which isn't really a bug, it's just a quirk, I haven't actually really had any bugs. Basically none that I can actually think of off the top of my head. So that's really neat. Used it for only a week, I didn't use it for a month. I'm pretty sure I would have ran into something. I do run into bugs when messing with the configuration file, but other than that, no, it's just completely fine. I must say I'm not really into tiling, I much prefer floating workflow over like tiling workflow. I'm just not into Tyler's much. It's just a personal preference, but it's okay. Like I'd use it if I had to. I don't really mind it. I just prefer floating windows. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Sway and Tiling window managers. I think they're great and pretty cool and I'll definitely check them out again in the future. Subscribe if you like my content and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.